What I really like is Bear Ladies. Just like the undraped female form, I think it's the greatest thing in the world ever. It's like readers' wives. It's this, it's this sort of gritty kitchen sink social realism about it. Imagine if Ken Loach made porn films. It'd be like that. It's real. It's real people. It's like real people's living rooms, real people's skirting boards, real people's curtains, real people's allotments, and real women. They're all real. All the real stuff still. The stretch marks, the cellulite, the C section scars, and red lines where her pants used to be two minutes ago and she took them off. Paris Hilton, right, she don't look like she secretes anything, don't look like she pisses or shits or menstruates. I, I, I couldn't have sex with a woman who don't do any of those things. And she looks like she's got bones that stick in you and hurt you as well. It'd be like having sex with like a, a giant tobra, a giant tobra dipped in creosote, just like orange reflective, like jagged God, you can imagine the pelvis one to stick in. You'd get internal bleeding if you had sex with Paris Hill, and it'd just be like being broken on jagged rocks or something. You know, I've not had a split for a year now. I told you, giving up smoking pot for the best things I ever did. There's nothing wrong with the joint now and again. Once you start skinning up every half hour, though, it leads to ruin. Not the sort of ruin the Daily Mail go on about, like weed from the devil's herbaceous border, one token you'll be in an underpass injected into your neck, not that sort of ruin, I mean like eating 15 bowls of cereal in one sitting ruin, thinking Jamiroquois is a good band, that kind of ruin, makes you pretentious as well, all people who do too many drugs are annoying, like, it's like self-righteous cokeheads, thieving smackheads, there ain't nothing worse than a self-righteous pothead though, the sort of bloke who thinks he's got all the answers to all of the world's ills compacted in his little rusty tin with a fucking alien on the front of it, I used to be just like that, you start thinking you've got healing powers, you start thinking you're some sort of witch doctor, you has got people who go like, oh you got cataracts, I'll have a spliff and you'll be able to see again, arthritis, have a spliff and move your hands again, had your arm ripped off in a bizarre throat machine accident, go and splash the ash mate, you'd be alright. Yeah, I was at Luton University, you know, I'm going to attempt to better myself. <laughs> yeah, but I've done a terrible thing to the homeless population of Luton. See, I was a bit left wing in them days as well. A bit, sort of, bit of a communist, not like to the extent of cheering for Drago and Rocky Ford, but quite left wing, you know. And I come back from one of my meetings and there was these tramps. Coming from that meeting, I thought to myself, if I give these people a quid each, I'm just reinforcing capitalism and putting them on the road to ruin, they'll be wanting mortgages and stuff next, it'll just be fucking their lives up, but I thought I've got to give them something, they look really needy, and my brain starts ticking over, my little student, my brain goes tick, 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 Howard Marks, Osric, Tentacles, Cheech and Chong, tick, 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 dope, this little voice starts going pot, Will, give tramps dope, it's what they really want, all those squares at the big issue and shelter, they, they just give them blankets like a bunch of fucking automatons, everyone needs dope, Will, everyone, anyone who says differently, well, they're probably racist. So I've done it. Got me a nine bar, chops it up, and I walks around loot and flicking these little bits of blim at these bewildered looking tramps. They're looking at me like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Eat it or something. And I thought I was quite a humanitarian. Turned out to be one of the worst things I've ever done. I've done some bad things. But I'll tell you something, the worst I ever did was go out to a bunch of people who couldn't afford a crust of bread and give them the munchies. 